there is absolutely no way, no way that Megan or any pregnant woman on this earth could have such a huge belly that indicates she's in the late stages of pregnancy, not have swollen arms, swollen feet, because that belly, she looks like she's carrying triplets. And on top of that, she puts a big toddler, not on the side like it would be comfortable and normal, but she puts the toddler as though she's carrying like a seat in front and she's putting the child on top of that belly, like the child. You don't do that. First of all, it'll pull, it'll push towards your bladder. So you feel like peeing, but it's, it's, it, you just can't do it. I haven't seen a real pregnant woman do that. You can do that if you have like a fake belly, because then you can use that like to help you carry the child. But look at her feet, look at her feet. And this is, we all know, I don't care how, how, how athletic you are when you're in the late stages of pregnancy. And with that belly, I've never seen something so abnormal like that. It's like she's carrying triplets. Her feet are as skinny as ever and her arms. And we, even the Duchess of Cambridge, even Princess of Wales, uh, Princess Catherine, you can see even she didn't have that big of a belly. And yet you can see her ankles and hands and her face swell. Not Mexi baby. You tell me. Thanks for, again, I always have to thank you guys for subscribing and everything. And I am talking about this because I, I am, you know, it, this is common sense. Some of you have said, well, why were you asking for the public records for the birth certificate? Those are not, yes, they are public records. If the children are in the line of succession, if any royal person is included in the line of succession, all records must be public because there cannot be any doubt in the minds of the public who fund the royals that they belong in the line of succession. I don't know if that makes any sense. So, and that is not the birth certificate. It's the, the testimony, I've said this many times, of the doctors that witnessed the birth or delivered the child that has to be there with their signatures. To this day, we know that she wasn't really at Portland or at least their account of being at Portland doesn't match with anything. The doctors that they claim they delivered the child were not there. One of them doesn't even have privileges at that hospital. The, the way that they have um, their stories changed in Netflix and Harry's book and how they gave the story before then. So, and now we have uh, the girl named Lily who supposedly was born in California on June 4th. And every time, not only me, but other people have asked. It's not that we get a letter saying that the records have been sealed, that they're, you know, and therefore there's a judge, because you would be tell, told that, that the record has been sealed due to court orders and therefore they can't provide you with those records. Fine, they do that. No. Please check your information. And you don't get the money back, by the way. Please review your information and submit it again. Because there are no child with those details born on that day. That's what we get back. So it is very important because if there is fraud, this is why the Royal family are helping them because they're covering up for them. So that's just my opinion, you know, because this should be made public. If the children are included, this is why I keep saying to you guys that you can write a parliamentary petition about the succession bill, amending the succession bill once again, because parliament does have something to do with that. And you can request that those testimonies be provided and that not, no person can be included in the line of succession without that documentation and with a proper proof and public documentation made available to the public. And you can request that only people, royals, living, physically living in the United Kingdom and being born in the United Kingdom can be in the line of succession. You can do that because... Parliament has responded many times in writing that all royal titles are at the discretion, absolute discretion of the monarch for now. Hello, beautiful people. Uh, thanks for coming to my channel. Please don't forget to click like, share, subscribe, comment. And I want to take a minute, a seconds to thank you for the super thanks and the PayPal donations. Thanks so very much for coming to my channel. So now we're going to talk into a couple of things here. Apparently, according to the tax return from Harry and Meghan Markle, 
they have only worked one hour a week, which makes it 52, that's 52 weeks of the year, so that's 52 hours in total to their main focus of life. How can that be your main focus in life and only dedicate one hour to it? I can tell you um, that, you know, if you are really dedicated to something, it, it's, you, you dedicate it. I mean, even if you're the laziest person, you dedicate at least 20, 30 hours of it a week, if that is your main focus, especially since you want to bring good to the world. You cannot do it doing it one, one hour a week. That's absolute BS. And it's incredible that they've listed, you know, since they started it, oh, this is uh, the, the employee, all these employees, all these female employees. And when it comes down to it, there's only like two or three poorly paid. Now, what's really tricky here is that they raised $13 million from just two donors who are anonymous, of course. Do you remember when people were saying that when Harry and Meghan did their Oprah interview and they claimed that they didn't get paid? I said, that's absolute BS. I'm sure they got part of it from product placement and it's going to be donated from that because my, uh, Oprah and CM, CBS, they made a lot of money from the product placements. Most of it, guess what, was medical, like labs, pharmacies and stuff. It was medical advertising. And guess who has an all for cash all cash business and runs it. That's Grandma Doria. Yes, Grandma Doria. Grandma Doria runs a, is the CEO of an only cash business uh, that looks for uh, that looks after the elderly and their medical needs. Grandma's here. Yes, Grandma Doria. So, who according to Tom Bauer was a drug dealer. <laughs> when dealing drugs in the set with um, when she met Thomas Markle. So, and some people are saying that Oprah gave them 10 million and the other 3 million come from Harry himself as the book advancement from, um, from the wag thing, the spare thing. Now, they claim that they gave $300,000 to the World Kitchen, yet the World Kitchen does not reflect that in their tax statements. If there had even been any red flags to the IRS, this is it. This is really it. Because that thing that they posted as a tax return, it's, it's like a fantasy read from two of the laziest people on earth. That's it, trying to get in. Because if you only work one hour, I'm, I'm still. this is like a one hour developing shop, you know, like when you take your pictures to be developed, that's it. That's all the effort that they've put to their charitable um, work, which is not very much, even by the worst lazy standards ever. You know, I am, and people, <laughs> I still don't get why people are not calling out this out more or reporting it to the IRS. It's, it's shocking, really. It is really shocking. Now it's the fourth day of Harry being in the UK, if he's still there. Some people were claiming that Meghan Markle was going to show up because, of course, she loves to be in the news. I don't think she did. Um, but it'll be very interesting. And Harry apparently is not staying at Frogmore Cottage in spite of the fact that he's allowed to stay there. Apparently, he's staying at his private resort, most likely Soho House. We know that because Meghan Markle is a Soho ho. So what, what are people waiting to report them to the IRS? Other people, I heard Angela Levin say that this was a test run for Harry to see if he's allowed back in the country, in the United States, you know, because of the drug things and the fact that the Heritage Foundation is going after his visa application and his drug use. So apparently this is a way for them to test the waters to see whether he'd be allowed back into the United States. I don't think, I personally don't think so. I don't think he would have left had he not had any assurances that he would be allowed back in. Because he's, you know, he, he is a coward. So he will have his bases covered. 
he will have his assurances covered. I mean, if Hunter Biden was able, is able to walk around free without any charges in spite of the fact that he's caught doing drugs across, hard drugs across different states, and he's out walking free, and there's actually no current investigation about that, I think Harry feels pretty safe, you know, and, and he's chummy with Biden and, and Jill Biden. So I think he feels pretty safe. I don't think that's it. I don't think this was a test run. I really do think that he came here because he loves being the center of attention. He has to do a Netflix thing because they have to eat somehow. Um, and uh, he wanted to take this surprise factor that nobody was expecting him. So he was there was a frenzy around him. Oh, Prince Harry showed up. You know, and I think that was all this was all very deliberate. Now, a lot of you have asked me what I think about all this mess of money, because this mess is about money. What have I been telling you for years that this is all about money? It all is it all comes down to things that are not very royal, which is money, 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 money. Now. <laughs> Somebody's published a list of the royal guests who are invited and who are supposed to be attending, and they claim that Harry and Meghan are not there. At the moment, no lists have been really published due to security reasons. And if Harry and Meghan Markle were to appear, they're not going to publish that again for security reasons because they know that they're highly contro controversial and it's not going to be a good look. It's not going to be a good look, you know, and people are going to be freaked out most likely it'll be something that, you know, it'll be pulled at the very last minute. Even if they show up on the balcony, people are happy and cheering that Charles hasn't seen Harry. How do you guys know? You guys didn't even know he was in the country until he showed up. So I'm always surprised when people say, oh, this is what's happening. No, you don't know what's happening. You don't know what's happening. It's like when Harry said that his father cut him off with just $4 million or something like that. That's not cutting you off. That's actually a pretty generous gift, but given their lifestyle, this is a gift that they don't appreciate because it's not enough to live a billionaire lifestyle. According to Harry, just security alone, it's $6 million a year. Goes to show you how much money the taxpayers were paying for those two. And, and it goes to show you, how can they not work more for Archwell? If it's their main source, you know, of everything that they do, Archwell Foundation, and it's not an Archwell Foundation, it is a charitable, a charity. The report that they posted in public is the charity side of the Archwell Foundation. So the Archwell Charity, that is a charity. It says so in the tax return. So I don't understand why people are saying it's a foundation when it's a public charity. So Archwell Audio, you have Archwell this, Archwell Productions, that's a different story. But this report that they post, that is the charity side of it, which according to them is what drives them in life. You know, doing good for the world. Not much good if you're only doing one, one hour a week. You know, and it's incredible that they're able to generate $13 million just from two donors. And nobody's raising an eyebrow about it, especially the IRS. It's very interesting. You know, I mentioned this before that the United Kingdom got two shady characters. These royals in the United Kingdom are so stupid. Why do they embroil themselves with these type of dealies gangsters, you know, grifters? Monaco, they got an A-lister, Grace Kelly. And Harry and, and Edward VIII, <laughs> Meghan and Wallace. And there are some people who actually defend Wallace as this wonderful woman. No, she wasn't. She was a Nazi, Nazi sympathizer. And these people who still laugh because she threw the best parties. I, I mean, I am shocked that there are people, there are some YouTubers out there defending Wally Simpson and how she was a victim. This is a Nazi sympathizer. And she's defended because she had class and she wore fancy dresses. So does Megan. And Megan is a huge race baiter who works one hour a week. That's it. And Harry is saying that they're going away on the freedom, to the freedom flight. How does that even work? 
What freedom flight? He's coming in a private plane from somebody who, who, whom they've never met. And the only reason why this guy lent them their, their, their private plane is because he has a royal title. Megan, when she was a nobody, didn't get any planes, did she? She didn't even get a free car from Tyler Perry when she was scrambling supposedly through the back door of her truck or her car. She wouldn't have known even how to reach Tyler Perry. So what are people waiting for to denounce these two frauds? And, you know, oh, people are happy. Charles didn't see him. Ha, ha, ha. You don't know. You don't know. Harry's in the UK to do a documentary. Yes, he was trying to deflect attention from the from Charles' first overseas trip. It backfired. But you don't know if they've seen each other behind the scenes. You don't know. We're going to find out because Harry and Meghan can't keep anything shut for sure. It's going to be out. But you don't know. So for those people who are saying, hooray, that Charles didn't see him, you just don't know. Okay, but you, as I said, you are going to find out and they're calling it all. Oh, he evicted them from Frogmore. How can he evict them from a place that we're not even paying rent to live in? We're not even living in that place. And he didn't evict them. The, he, the lease was not renewed. The lease that they were not paying for was not renewed. Okay. Please. So let's, let's just call things for what it is. And somebody in the United States, some of you, my beautiful viewers, please report them to the IRS because this needs attention. And the IRS always gets their men. Look what happened to Capone and to many other cro crooked people. So what are you waiting for and report them? Report them. Report the hell out of it. This can't be right. I mean, what do they do all day? What do they do all day? 